In last week's episode, our progress was slowed. We entered the section of river where it starts to drop, and drop fast. Something we were equally excited and nervous about. Facing a series of challenges, we are now walking more than we are paddling. Our work is not done yet, but we remind ourselves that with great challenge comes great rewards. Welcome to this week's episode. How bad's your back hurting this morning? Dude. <laughs> it's actually, it hurts to look up at the camera right now. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to stand. I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> I'm sore today. <clears throat> yeah, today uh, you can you can feel like it's day seven. It feels like it's I day feel, seven. I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm in day seven of a trip in the Hudson's Bay Lowlands. Still having fun though. <laughs> So it is the morning of day seven. Can't believe we've already been out here for seven days. But also if you think back to like what happened on day one and day two, it seems like forever ago. Time's definitely like a weird thing out here where like I feel like there's times that it feels like it, you've been out here forever and then there's times that it's like the time's just flying by. So the nice thing about these longer trips is that eventually you just get into such a rhythm where find like on weekend trips and stuff you just you end up thinking about you don't really get immersed in uh, your trip that much like you do like you're out there you enjoy yourself on the weekend but like it's only it maybe it's just for so much shorter and then like when it's longer you appreciate it a little bit more because it's like we've been out here for seven days now and like really the only things that you're worried about when you're out here is like what you have on your hands that day. Like yesterday was a really messed up day. We literally made it three kilometers. I can tell you I didn't think about anything else yesterday. <laughs> it was just literally like getting past that section of, wa uh, of waterfalls and, and islands. But yeah, it's pretty cool just being completely immersed out here where all you're worried about is making your breakfast, your lunch, making distance down river, being careful with everything that you're doing out here. So our oatmeal blend this morning is steel cut oats with walnuts and some shredded coconut, the sweetened kind, and some figs. Figs are probably my favorite part by far. I feel like the time's been flying by on this one, but it's still sweet that we've got uh, 10 or 11 days out here. Probably not actually that many because we're likely going to be getting to uh, Moosonee a little bit early. We're traveling along James Bay with weather delays, with tides. Um, we don't really want to be leaving that until last minute. So we'd rather, you know, get across there as quickly as possible. The server has been absolutely amazing. I think it was more than either of us really expected to get out of this river. So it'll be exciting to see what's ahead of us today. And uh, I'm sure we've got some more fun rapids and hopefully some more beautiful sections of river. So we're just packing up the final things at camp here. It looks like the clouds have rolled in a little bit more and there's kind of that feeling in the air that makes you think that it might rain. Uh, so we're just packing everything into dry bags really quick here, getting ourselves into our dry clothes. And then uh, we're gonna set off on this river for another great day. As soon as we pushed offshore, the weather shifted and we had ourselves a beautiful day. Yeah, the next set looks juicy. Yeah. The 
The river was dropping fast, and there was approximately 60 kilometers of river that we were excited to see, but also gave us a healthy dose of fear. The fear we had was not only based on getting down this river safely, but also on getting through this section with enough time to complete the final stretch across the coast of James Bay to Moosonee. to see because of the shadows but this looks chill it does look chill okay well let's back paddle a little bit then we're gonna go nice and slow yeah you know what to do to keep us in between those nice yep I think we want to eddy out behind this rock on our right right here. Okay. Eddy out or just back carry? Just back, back, back carry into it. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Okay. How's that line looking? looking good from here. There's a lot of white water commotion there. We might not be able to back paddle into that. Yep, go hard, go hard! We have a line? Yeah, it looks good! Yeah, buddy. We're going up to the right here. Still good? Yeah, it looks good! When we were eddied up behind that rock at the top, I was like, yo, there's a lot going on down there. Yeah. All right, so we got to another set of rapids here that is looking a little too juicy for us. Essentially, we just walked the river right shore and it's like so thick in there. And it looks like there's an eddy up at the very top over there that if we hug that left shore, we can probably pop into that eddy and then we just have this nice rocky portage behind us, which would be amazing. So in a second evaluation from the top, hitting that eddy over there is not looking too good with the consequences being pretty high. But rather than walking through the forest here, we found a nice way to kind of like sneak down along the right shore. I'm about to go no, here. Forwards, forwards, forwards. Cross, cross. Yo, I feel like you're in a better place at the beginning. Yo, know, we're gonna pop in, turn us around, and then and then we'll probably be a little bit to the left, and then we have to cross our way in. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Uh, let's just back up a little. 
This is a perfect example of a situation where our communication broke down and almost got us into some trouble. Tell me what? Do a couple cross draws there? Cross, or uh, sorry, draws. All right, and down, downward turn, yep. Back paddle. We lost the uh, the left tilt. Our whole right side went under. It did? All the water was pouring in here. What the f So we can't really see too much from this side. So we're gonna make our way over to the other side of the river and see if we can get a better view at what we're looking at here. So there's a much easier portage on this side, right along these open rocks. And we have an awesome lunch spot for today. Uh, I'm dying right now. Having our classic meat, cheese, and wraps with mustard lunch. My fave. We tried some casts after lunch, but still had no luck. The fishing was frustrating, but we didn't really have too much time for it today anyways. Good thing we filled up on soap and soda. You want to go like this? Like walk across? Yeah. Make sure each foot's good before you let go of your next last one. Yeah. You feel good? Yeah, yeah. of us, don't push us into that rock on the left. Yeah, let's be a little more left. Forward paddles, we have to be more left, yep. Alright, so we have been very slowly making our way down this river. We're in another very tough section where it's just massive set after massive set, a lot of waterfalls, and just a lot of uh, really, really rocky big rapids that uh, we just can't hit. So we're slowly portaging around each one, um, but it's been a grind today for sure. Is there anywhere we can like get out here? No. So, yo, should we get out at that rock straight ahead? Right there? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yo, we can't miss this. I know. Wow, this area looks so nice. Yeah, I know. Oh, 
Oh. Woo. You guys know how the old uh, say, the old Adagi goes. Another hundred meters, another portage, another beefy set of rapids. This river is dropping. Welcome to the Catawagamy. Ooh. Currently portaging another massive set. It'll really knock you out. This is my absolute favorite part of this portage. The rocky flats. Pretty easy to walk along. No alders, no wading. Just a couple slippy streams you gotta be careful of. Absolutely beautiful. This is definitely one of the deeper sections we've had to wade. Drops off again. Somewhere around here. There it is. Ooh, Nelly. Does it get a little deeper again? I think it might. Oh, no, we're chill. Ooh, baby, baby. Holy smokes. It's around 7 o'clock. We need to find camp for the night. I think Eric spotted a nice looking campsite just at the bottom of this set of rapids that we might might just want to camp at and it's on the eastern shore which gives the sun a little longer tonight not so bad today was an absolute grind we probably didn't get to camp till about 7 30 tonight we went through some beautiful areas but it, to get around most of the stuff that we had to get around was a lot of work uh, so it was a bit of a scramble around camp tonight to get a tent set up get the fire going get a water hang going <laughs> hang our clothes to dry swim. and go for a quick swim to clean ourselves off and uh, now all that's done we're making some dinner we feel refreshed we did around four kilometers today four, four kilometers maybe 700 meters to 1.2 kilometers of that was paddling. <laughs> the rest is portaging, but we did hit probably one of my favorite sets of the trip. A great whitewater set we hit, and uh, I'm still loving it. I'm having a lot of fun. So awesome. That's it. Oh my god, I got hit in the face with something. So, with not many trees around, we definitely had to make a bit of an alternative setup to hang our smelly clothes. We still have not gotten to camp early enough to actually be able to wash our stuff, so we just put it out at night and jump into it again the next day. You can imagine what that smells like at this point. Ciao, benvenuti a tutti to Trattoria di Alex and Eric, Catawagami River. On tonight's menu, we have beef and rice. Dehydrated beef and rice that we're bringing back to life. Yo, as your, like, stand-in Italian teacher, should you not be saying beef and noodles in Italian, or did you already cover that in the first part of the sentence? I don't know how to say beef. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, Eric's been learning Italian, and this two weeks off of his Italian lessons is going to really set him back. Big time set back right now, man. But I'm in the Hudson Bay Lowlands. Yeah. So there you go. Hey, this looks actually really good. Oh yeah, that is looking good. It kind of looks like Italian wedding suit, actually. Yeah, it definitely does. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah. We're gonna Yo, eat is that other pot for hot chocolate? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we brought hot chocolate, bro. Yes, the other pots are hot chocolate. I feel like I could definitely go for a hot chocolate today. Dude, you just pump me up so much right we there. We haven't touched our tea or hot chocolate stack. I'm so excited for hot chocolate. Dessert. Yeah. Dessert. I'm pumped. Good Stay call. Down. Nice. We are ending our day with some hot chocolate by the fire. Tonight's definitely going to be the coldest night I think we've had out here. Grab your mug, bro. Dude, I am so stoked. The verdict on the hot chocolate is that it is probably coming on every trip from now on. 
It's like a dessert, but drink format. And it's yeah. warm on a cold night. It just doesn't get better. Definitely after I finish this, so I'm going to bed. Same. <laughs> it's one of those days where I could go to bed right now. It is the morning of day eight right now, and it's a frosty one this morning. Gotta say, it's probably somewhere around like 10 degrees. The sun's out, it's gonna be a nice day, but it's just it's starting off a little cold. We were a little cold in the, in the tent last night. But we got a fire going, we got coffee and oatmeal on the go, and uh, we're fueling up uh, to be on the water early this morning. Um, hopefully by about 7.30, so. It's gonna be another good day, probably a grind again, but we're excited to see what the river has for us. Starting to see some ice on the river. Look at that. That's a massive iceberg. That's only the tip. Another beautiful day to get clapped. Alright, do you see the rip? Like, take a look behind us. Do you see the ripples? We need to uh, have our nose in. Yeah, yeah. We're like, we're now we're directly ahead of it. We're yeah. a little too far. It's okay. Turn. We'll be able to get back over. See that white froth? Yeah, I see it to the right. Yeah, so we're not going to hit that yet, but. That's basically where we're headed. Yeah. The river is going to take us nicely to the left of that right now. All right. Nice, bro. Can you do a draw? Nice. Just a little R2 for breakfast. Yeah, baby. Trust Yo, me. that was sick. We're gonna hug that this this current yeah. is gonna take us around the corner if we hit the foam stuff on the left. You wanna hit this? The right side of it. Okay. Like we wanna kiss it, and then we're gonna be basically already pointing to that eddy we wanna hit. Okay. So Make sure we just sneak in here. Yep. Nice. Watch it. Now we're turn. That was exactly it, bro. Out of boards. All right. Now we're in a ferry across this. Left tilt. Do a draw. Another one. There we go. Nice, dude. Nice. Let's say this would be an 
awesome campsite up here. So we were able to run a little tongue up at the top, made our way along the right side of this island, and there's this beautiful like rock spot here to pull up on. This whole section, the river has been dropping a bunch, but that provides us with like a lot of beautiful places to look at. Also sometimes requires a lot of work, so. So after making it through a huge section of rapids, we finally made it to a lake. And we think we've got a little bit of flat water ahead of us. It's not even really a lake, it's just like a swell in the river. But uh, pretty cool looking area here.
you guys might be asking what this is. This is Greek olive hummus with Triscuit crackers, AKA good. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It's really good. It's actually really good. I feel like I'm in Greece, on the islands of Greece. Sun's out, I'm about to take my top off. It's about to get good. They're just straight filling up, like so greedy, not leaving any for anyone else. Brutal. It was too greedy, I had to feed him a lesson. Yeah, this whole area is amazing. That could be the falls. Yeah, yeah this looks better. It is, we have to go left of that. Left? Left of the rock, but then right everywhere else. Yeah, 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 okay. Alright, so we just arrived at another beautiful waterfall here. We didn't even see the best part yet. The whole lead up area. These rocky shorelines have really been helping us out today. Crushing out distance. Portage, eh? Definitely ate too much hummus. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. This is so nice out here. It's a pretty crazy change, man. I'm actually, like, really, really excited about how much distance we've covered. The river's changed so much, eh? Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see what comes after this, eh? Very interesting. We're just wow. lazily floating down this river right now. Yeah. Trying to decide where we want to camp tonight. I smell something juicy coming up here. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it, eh? Yeah. It was getting late in the day and we were really tired. We decided to complete this one last portage before finding a place to call home for the night.
Alright, so I haven't been able to do an update yet because this site is probably our favorite site of the trip. Too awesome. We actually crushed distance today. We made it about 8 kilometers. Shorelines were favorable. We were able to run some good lines. There's a lot that was just like working in our favor. Weather, beautiful. Again, something else that would definitely slow us down if it was raining or something. So we are camping in a series of islands right now with water flowing through all of them. It is absolutely stunning. We got here, we probably around 6.30ish and did laundry. We uh, had some clothes that definitely needed to be cleaned. And uh, then we went for a swim and we've set up camp. But I haven't been able to update yet. So this is the tour of our campsite. Go show you upstairs. It's a two bedroom. It's actually not, it's probably like a 20 bedroom. Here's all the clothes we washed. Our fly is still wet from this morning, so that's out drying. Again, beautiful sunset. It's the last rapid there. Then we're coming into the good stuff. While I was swimming, Eric cut all this wood. There you go. But that's not all he did. Through the trees over there, we have a tent set up. It's a bedroom, man. It's private. Come on. The bed. The bedroom. Yo, don't show people that. <laughs> so yeah, we we have it pretty. Say made in the shade, but it's pretty much made in the sun right now. So absolutely beautiful night as a capper for the end of day eight on the Katawagami. It is impossible after all the hard work we put in to not be thankful for moments like these. At the same time, without the hard work, these moments just wouldn't be the same. Oh, is that bottle on the left of you? <laughs> Are you just gonna polish that off tonight? Dude, we're gonna polish it off in the next 10 minutes. It's almost done. Halfway. That's way too deep. I'm sad for this part to end, yeah, but also too. like so thick. I feel like coming into this, I was so nervous. Yeah. Not knowing what any of this was gonna be like. Oh my god, we smashed. You kidding? We smashed it. Yeah. Yo, I feel like this does smell like fish, but not as bad. Yeah. I feel like there's a bread, bread scent there, you know. Getting eight kilometers done today definitely put us in a good place and made us feel good about our overall progress. We are just over halfway through the section of white water that we were most concerned about, which felt good, but at this point, the fun isn't over just yet. <laughs> 